wants to go outside. Come on, Connor. Welcome back to Mom Likely. My name's Shauna if you're new here and you're just tuning in. Today we're gonna be getting some stuff cleaned up and some things organized. I got some groceries I need to put away. I'm gonna finally show you downstairs where I'm organizing like the canned goods and that and finally get this sunroom cleaned up because yeah, it needs a lot of help. So here's the state of the sunroom right now. We have the old futon in here and then we have like a lot of stuff in here that really doesn't belong in here. It's like things that we're saving for a garage sale. And then there's also like a bunch of trash in here that was already here. Worth of things that I don't want to have in here. And then we put this TV in here. I think I showed this in one of the last videos. Um, we're gonna try to get this hooked up at some point. And the flooring in here is pretty stained. So I'm not gonna be cleaning that today. I gotta figure out a solution for that. This is not rotten food. These are like wooden apple pieces that were here. I just haven't cleaned them up yet, so we're finally going to put all this stuff in the recycling now. As you can see, some kind of furniture started to happen here. We just brought what was out there at the other house, um, but I would like to get like a little set in here, but I just, I don't know. I really want a thrifted set for in here. Um, something maybe like a wicker set or like a cute patio set. I'm not really sure because we also have the little patio area out here that needs cleaned up and like organized so I don't know what we can fit. So thanks for being patient waiting for this week's video. Um, if you didn't know from the last one, I did break my camera, sadly and unfortunately, but James ended up buying me a new one for Valentine's Day, so I'm about to be getting that in the mail soon. In the meantime though, I did have another camera on hand, which is how I shot this one, and it's been an insane week. We started um, Girl Scout cookie booths, uh, cookie sales, we've been doing extra activities, running around. Um, it's just been a really crazy time and I've been trying to get out a little bit more with friends as well because I don't know it just feels like I've been going and going um, you can probably hear my kids now screaming in the background as I'm trying to like do the voiceover for this video in and of itself 
I will say that the next video is going to be a good one because the house is like really trashed. Um, just because we've been running around so much, I haven't had time to like really clean the house how I've been keeping up with it. So we're going to have a lot of motivation in the next one. I'm also going to be starting uh, another round of the workout program I was doing. I'm going to start another three week cycle here coming up. Um, I'm probably going to start that actually on Monday. The kids start their winter break, so I'm going to go ahead and restart that on Monday. My voice is a little bit shot because I was sick, um, and now I'm kind of like getting over that. And then I like went out to the bar with my friend, and you know, when you're talking like in a large gathering setting, it's like you always lose your voice a little bit. I feel like just as fast as we've like been getting settled I feel like I'm still like I said last time starting a million projects in my head um, I know I'm getting ready to open up a few days in my calendar for doing some cleaning jobs um, doing like you know cleaning for other people I've been still doing that kind of on the side it took so long to clean this sunroom just because we just had so much stuff in here I didn't know what to do with but outside of that I felt like I was vacuuming this floor for so long it was very hard to vacuum this like green turf um, so much came out of it. I really would like to hit it with like my carpet cleaner. I just don't know if this kind of material can be cleaned with something like a carpet cleaner. I don't know if the suction is good enough on it. And I'm not entirely sure like what's under here for flooring. Um, so I'll have to kind of explore that. And like I shared over on my Instagram, I wasn't exactly ready to upgrade my filming gear this year, but because I'm getting a new camera, I'm going to get like um, a few other things like new equipment this year. So I'm like really pumped up to like start making more videos for you guys. Um, we're just going to see how it goes, but I'm super excited because then the next one I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, our bedroom update. We got some new stuff in there. I finally got some new bedding. James picked some. It's so soft and cozy. I can't wait to share. Um, and then we got like some other cute little things around the house and I'm still waiting for that table to come in. We ended up going with a round one instead of square. Um, I think it'll work better with the space, but I still need to go to Ikea and look for a tabletop. And so I can turn, um, my eight cube organizer into like a DIY kitchen island in there. So we'll see how that works out. I don't really know how it's going to fit in there with like, um, you know, like one or two stools, like small stools, and then still having the trash cans and the doggy food bowls. So We'll see how it goes. Another great news, I'm going to be starting a second round of my workout here coming up. I took a quick break because I was sick and so I was down for like maybe five days, six days where I didn't work out. So um, today I'm going to actually start my next round of the three weeks. So it's a 30 minute workout every day for three weeks and I'm going to just do my best to stick with that again, see where I can get with that. Essentially, I'm doing like a cut right now um, and then I'll start where I'm kind of eating more and I'm going to be like lifting heavier weight and working out less. Um, so that will help me to like bulk up the muscle. Um, it really helps with composition. So we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, when I was editing this back, I was like, oh my gosh, my pants are like getting loose because like I just had to keep pulling them up and pulling them up. And it was a really annoying, but it's really great because I really need new underwear now. And then I'm getting to wear like, it's almost time to buy some like new pants because um, I'm just like losing weight. And it's funny because like, I'm not losing a lot of weight. It's just that working out and then just eating, you know, just better food is just helping me to like, just get rid of fat. Um, or just like, just, just uh, moving itself in a different way. I don't know. But either way, I'm really excited because like, it's almost time to buy some new clothes for spring and I'm gonna be super excited when I get to buy like a new size and I love that. I really love getting some new spring clothes. It's really like a really great boost. I always say I wish I knew what it was like to live in a place where it's warm all year round because it's like in Michigan, I feel like we get in these moods where we're like, oh, it's cold. I don't even want to get ready. I just need to wear like a blanket and a hat and it's like you're so bundled up it's like it doesn't matter how cute you are anyway and then like sometimes it's not worth getting too cute because you're so covered um well at least for me because like I have to be warm because I'll get sick if I'm just like out doing things and I'm cold I don't like that at all um but yeah so I can't wait for spring you gotta see like this cutest thing that I got to um I'll share a picture of it over on Instagram I went to Walmart and I got the cutest little things to put up with my spring decor. I don't think I'm going to put out too much. I know I definitely need to take this tree down. Um, and I want to put up some spring stuff like in the kitchen and maybe in the family room. But I don't know. We'll see what's happening. I got a few towels. So yeah. So this video was filmed over the course of a couple days. I was doing like a little here, a little there since we've been running around so much. 
Um, but that's why I'm like jumping around and in different outfits and so that. So over on my socials, I shared that I stopped at Ollie's and was grocery shopping this week and I picked up this uh, five pack. It was it was advertised as a laundry organizing set, but I got it because obviously you can use containers anywhere. Um, but it was five pieces, so it came with this one, which is like open right here. You can set stuff in. And then it also came with these three pieces right here. So these are like two um, little containers with pull handles. And then it also came with like this little Lazy Susan right here. Um, don't break it. So I bought this from Aldi. It was an Aldi find in the iOS aisle and it was only $14.99. The set that I wanted from Amazon was literally, I think like $42.99. So like almost 50 bucks. And I just didn't feel like I needed that one. Uh, it wasn't something I felt like I just, you know, really needed. So I went ahead and bought this one. I will link that one in case you're interested, but if you want to go out and get this one, it's a really good deal if you can find it. I also picked up this pan. It's like a big wok. I'm talking wok, wok, wok. <laughs> All my pans are stainless steel. You guys have always seen my pans, but this one, I really wanted this size of pan and it was a pretty, pretty affordable price. So it just says nonstick coating, uh, coating, titanium reinforced nonstick coating. So if this thing starts to peel, I will not use it. I'm really against uh, Teflon pans. There's just a lot of um, health effects linked to them. So that's why I don't use them at all. Um, but I'm going to try this because I want to make some chicken fried rice and some other like little things that I've seen on Pinterest. So sometimes you just need a different pan to make the different meal, you know? It's not even that you can't cook or something, it's just that you're not using the right tools. So like, I wanna try this. So I just put these like little acrylic containers under here. I think it looks cute, but I'll tell you right now, I hate it. Like when you try to grab a bag, yeah, that's gonna happen. No, not dealing with that. And if I send the kids to come in here and grab a trash bag, because it's their turn to empty the trash or start the dishwasher, if I put these tabs dumped in here, they're gonna be everywhere. The dog's gonna eat one. So in theory, it looks cute, but it ain't gonna work. So I think for this task, what I'm gonna do, I'm so glad I didn't order those other ones. They would have been drawers, which would have been cool. I really wanted that. That was kind of like what I was going for with these. I really wanted it to be just like set up in there like an organizer and then have a drawer so like I could access the stuff. But these aren't staying either. Um, and they're just kind of not fitting with what else I have back there and I kind of also need this stuff too. So, um, you know, this is just all my cleaning supplies. So yeah, that other stuff back there, I still need that stuff just to have on hand for when, you know, certain situations arise. And then I have like my couple of things that I use every day, like my pink paste, my cleaning sprays, mop stuff. And then here's how I like my bags actually. So when I send someone else to get a bag, this thing gets stuck back here, which makes it nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I can buy a two pack. I don't know. It's not cute, but I gotta be honest, I really like it. I don't think this house is set up for that kind of organization, really. But, I do like the idea of these. So, this is something simple that I could integrate that's not gonna be, like, you know, too overbearing. That's still useful. Well, let's see. If the door closes, let's, let's start there. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Okay, so my plan, I'm gonna go grab some towels. I'm gonna put dish tabs in one and then microfiber cloths in the other one. Jordan? Under here. <laughs> 
<laughs> when I was down here preparing to film stock in the basement, Connor took a pee on that plant. So when you're wondering why I got rid of all the really beautiful house plants, it's because the dogs think that they're to pee on. I don't get it because they don't smell like outside. So yeah, that one's trash now as well. I brought these down here to see if these would work because they don't fit anywhere upstairs. So I'm thinking they'll fit down here so Jordan can stop putting her restaurant stuff all over the whole entire bar. Doesn't fit perfectly, but that's pretty good. Good enough. Okay. That. Jordan, do you want to organize the chips? Yeah. Here. Wait. You can organize this stuff. I'm going to let her do this how she wants to do it. They eat this stuff anyway, so. The other thing I was going to be telling you about was this urinal. I showed you I would share this with you. James got his paper towel up there. And he put a urinal here where there used to be like a wash tub. We still have the wash tub in our laundry room, but now we have this here. I need to get like a rug or something. Maybe put flooring down. I don't really know. This one's yucky. But I need to like put all this stuff up. And I decided that I'm going to put it all on here. It's going to fit here really nicely. So I'm going to stock these things up here. And the fridge, the fridge is really like empty right now.
Here's everything that I have so far currently with the food wall. It's not very much, but still quite a bit of back stock for stuff for on hand for making meals. Lots of different like beans and stuff and tomatoes is what I usually keep on hand. I'm trying to stock up my back stock of dressings. I like to have what I try to do is I try to get a back stock of the majority of these things and I like to try to buy them in fours. So I just buy one for every person in the house basically is how I go about doing it. So I always get like four of everything when I go do like a really big haul of it. Um, usually like around the holidays or cookout times is when it's best to restock on the canned goods. Um, now I can see how much base I actually have and so I'm still going to keep to that rule I think of just like around three, four things of each thing is good to keep on hand. I thought I would bring back up real quick uh, something that I heard like I don't know where I seen this it was like forever ago at this point but it was some kind of meme floating around like do you remember back when you saw yourself in the future and you were like hey that's exactly what I wanted to be doing and you didn't feel like you were coming short falling short or failing or you weren't being a great mom or showing up for yourself right you just had this idea in your head that you wanted to be a certain person and have certain things when you were older um, and then it's like we got older and the world changed around us, at least for my age group, you know, us in our thirties and moving on and, you know, the world changed around us. So it was like, now we constantly question ourselves, like, is this thing good enough? Or am I this person if I don't have that? And like, I don't like that. Um, I know I see comments all the time about my furniture being old and my house style being old, but like, this isn't to be like rude at all, but like, don't forget that we are a actual real life family. Um, and to even get into any home, let alone our home, um, with our circumstances as well, like it had costed us thousands of dollars to move. Um, you know, so the average people aren't out here just, you know, just using, maxing out every single credit card account that they can get and getting every single loan that they can, um, especially for social media. So I don't, I want to just remind some of you here that you can throw shade on my house if you want to um, and how I'm not upgrading things and renovating everything and it may not be as fun to watch and I understand that but I didn't make my channel ever with the intention of my home being the content. The content is about my life as a mom and the things that I do um, and it's weird I know because my content also isn't about my kids so it's like it may be hard for you to resonate with and I may not be the content creator for you, but if you are here, I do appreciate you. Um, if you do resonate with me and you do, you know, find, um, you know, some motivation or inspiration in what it is that I do and enjoy your time here with me. But, you know, if I'm not for everybody, then that's okay too. And maybe you should go find somebody that more aligns with maybe your goals and aspirations or, you know, somebody that can be your inspiration. But I'm really grateful for my home. So now that I'm done doing all that laundry, which was a couple loads, um, I'm about to switch this load of laundry that's in here right now, clean up the family room. Say cheese. Oh my God. <laughs> awesome, Mom. Jordan got a beanbag chair. <gasps> I go inside it. <laughs> but Mom. Huh? Pause the camera. Hold on. Wait, pause the TV, because that can't be in my background sound. Copyright. Yep. So there's not like too much stuff all over in here. This is James's work pile that needs to be washed, piling up, um, and aftermath from laundry. But it's still like there's just things that need to be picked up because otherwise it's gonna keep turning into a mess. Because we spend a lot of time down here. Like, why is this on the bookshelf? What oh. are you using this for? My hair. When oh. I'm the beanbag. <laughs> so the puff doesn't get in your hair. Mhm. Mm My goodness. So That makes it good. Mm -hmm. Are you using this? What? 
Huh? What? <laughs> this blanket. Oh no. While I'm here, I figured I would ask you guys, do you guys have a recommendation, any of you with sensitive skin for an eyeliner and a mascara? Um, is there a certain brand that you like that you prefer that doesn't irritate your eyes um, or the skin around your eyes? I'd love to hear your suggestions. The only thing I could really find when I was trying to look for it myself was like something from either Tarte or I think Physicians Formula. I haven't used either of those. So if you have something or if there's a vegan liner or something that um, you like, then let me know. The only thing I stay away from is I don't like products with SLS and I don't like products with uh, coconut oil base. So if you have one, let me know. So the one place in the house here that is going to get a transformation is going to be the laundry room here. This floor in here needs to be covered up because it's the old school tile. And then um, James wants to switch out the wash tubs um, between the one that was downstairs and put in here. They're both the non-porcelain ones and the other one is white. So we just figured it would, you know, look a little bit better. I definitely need to clean my washer and dryer. And don't freak out because if you've seen the, the IG video, I won't use the toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> I'll show you how to really so do it. So these are my favorite laundry accessories right here. I'll link them for you down below and in my Amazon store. But this is the fur zapper, these little silicone, little grippy thingies. And then this one's like kind of like a sponge, but it's like a soft sponge. Um, and this one's kind of like a little bit different raised version of like a tennis ball, but these come in like a 10 pack. You got to use a lot of these at one time. A couple of these is good, but these are good. So like if you just use a combination of like taking a handful of whatever laundry items you have, this helps with dog hair and lint tremendously. Um, obviously it doesn't, you know, fix the problem depending on how much dog hair you have, like if it's excessive, but, um, if you can get away with just having like dog hair not be in your laundry and like it would be easier for you then these are the trick but also if you need to just reduce it this is going to be your number one helper right here so i'll link these down in the description box for you below um i'm trying to see if you can see this like you can maybe see it like it collects some lint but i put these both in the washer and in the dryer and like it gets long hairs uh hair from animals and then like hair from us, hair from the animals, and then lint. Um, but yeah, these are my three favorite accessories, so I'll link these down for you below. 
So I know you don't actually see the hair on the fur zapper one, which is the green silicone squishy. And the way that that one actually works is that it knocks through, like yes, it sticks to it while it's in the washer and dryer, but when it's in the dryer and it's in there, it knocks through the clothes basically. So where um, it's basically getting, it's catching more hair and stuff in the lint trap. So you'll notice if you use something like this, you'll have a lot more um, dog hair and lint in your lint trap versus having it on the little silicone uh, jelly itself, if that makes sense. So we have a crap ton to do in the next video, so I hope you're excited for it. Hopefully, maybe the table will be here by the time uh, it's time for the upload, but I know for sure we'll have updated bedroom stuff done, um, and I'm going to try to maybe get into my office and clean up as well. So I really wanted to include the basement stuff getting done. Uh, James did end up buying a projector in a mount, but we end up getting the wrong size like little pull down screen. So we have to send it back and get another one. So that'll be in a future video too. So give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being here watching. Thanks for being patient for this video because I know it took forever. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.